Hey guys, welcome to BP, the Bible Perspective. This man thinks God told him that women wearing bikinis on beaches is like watching pornography. And then he had the boldness to confront a group of women who were wearing bikinis and it didn't turn out well for him. But furthermore, if God told him that, has God seen this man's wife? Now before we get into it, please like and share this video and subscribe to BP, the Bible Perspective. And as always, if you have a thought or comment, add it to the comment section below. All comments are welcome. Well, this man decided to confront a group of women who were wearing bikinis on a beach, a public beach, on a hot day. And he goes in on them, um, criticizing, I guess, the kind of bikinis they were wearing. But I want you to notice the woman in the back right here. That's his wife, and I'll get to her later. But I want to play just a couple of um, snippets of this video that has now gone viral. I want to warn you that there is a lot of cursing in the video because they clap back on him. Um, but let's let's. Let's play it and then and unpack what he says. <laughs> okay, so then why, why do you dress this way? Dude, I'm hot and I like women, so please leave us alone. Well, Kindly. Well, take, take young I'm at the beach in take, my bathing take, suit. Yeah, that's, that's a thong and that's a bra. That is a take, fucking bathing take suit, Take young sir. guys into consideration. They don't need to see pornography right We're not coming up to you, bothering you. Please go away. You're flaunting your stuff. I'm not flaunting anything. Don't look at me. How, how you look around and, and you know the only thing that sticks out because your whole body okay, is Okay, well why it. are you looking at me? Oh, get the Close your eyes. What no. if you just say is gouge no. your no. eyes out if I fucking Did bother I ask you? Did you to talk to me? Here's the thing. Did we ask you? You didn't, Please you go. didn't, but there, but here's the thing. There's okay. free will in America. There's no, freedom bro. of speech. You don't have to get the fuck and, away. And if, and, if, and if men of God don't stand up, then our society's gonna go go down the drain because there's no morality. I'm atheist, sorry. Yeah, same. You're, okay, that, 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 that's if you're an atheist, that doesn't mean you have to, you know, show your body off. You can still put clothes on. Oh, I can't with you. <laughs> hey, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Oh my god. Here's the thing. So I can't. I'm speaking truth. Your body will never ever satisfy. Please, please. The physical will never ever satisfy. There's a longing in each of your hearts to actually be seen. The reason why, <laughs> the reason why you're showing your body because you're like, Dude. am I pretty enough? Sir, we're definitely please pretty enough. Thank you. <laughs> hey, I'm just, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Yes, please leave us just, alone. Just next time you come to a beach and there's young eyes, take that into consideration. Because, Dude, what are you because, talking about? about? I can't show you gonna go follow that man now? Yeah, go Move through. along. That's a lot different. How, How is that, that different? Yeah. Because he has a this fucking is, dick? Is, is that why? Go down the drain because there's no. What the fuck? That, that's, that's simply just bathing a family out. outing. Bathing suits are pornography. That's not even a bathing suit anymore. What would, like what, what, like what would you like me to wear? What would you like me to wear? What do you consider a bathing suit? A one piece. Literally. Or a two piece. Or something like this that's actually modest because. You don't need to be showing your body. Please just leave out. us alone. Please leave us alone, please. Thank you. Okay, um, so a couple of things to unpack with him. Um, one, I, I understand as a Christian where he's coming from. What this shows about him to me is that he's probably a conservative listening to certain conservative Christian talking points. The problem, however, is he's not balanced. He's not fair. He's picking out certain aspects while ignoring others. That's probably his biggest problem here. He, 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 he focuses in on these group of girls while he's on a beach literally where everyone is wearing swimwear. Now I'm gonna bring his wife in later, and I'm gonna show that she's wearing a bikini. Um, he brings in freedom of speech, and I'm thinking to myself, okay, the freedom of speech doesn't entitle you to approach people. It, the freedom of speech doesn't say that you have a right to, to to speak to people, and certainly berate people, 
criticize people, judge people, or whatever. That's not what freedom of speech is about. He then mentions the fact that he's a man of God. That if men of God doesn't speak up, that the society um, is going to drown in morality. Well, how is that going? Because nothing he did that day worked. He did not win one person over. In fact, he lost. It didn't turn out well for him. He talks about young eyes, meaning his children. In other words, these girls with their bikinis, okay, would affect his, I guess, son, maybe young children, or, or young children on the beach. But then, why are you there? If, if what you're saying is true, why did you bring your family to, you know, why would you bring your family out to and expose them to this gross pornography that you're calling? Um, and then they ask him, well, um, what do you want us to wear? And he says, well, a one piece. And then he says, a two piece, modest. And of course they laughed at him and you saw some of how they clapped back at him. Well, one piece, his own wife is not wearing a one piece, okay? In my opinion, I think he's bothered by them. Meaning this, these are young college women. You can tell that they're certainly into their life, okay? Um, from their talk, they're certainly into their sexuality. That's a turn on. As a man, if I was watching that, yeah, that's a turn on. But that's not necessarily what he was doing. I don't know in terms of were they frolicking with, with each other because he doesn't bring that out. He is talking about what they are wearing. And I can say just with that, watching what they're wearing, okay, watching what they're wearing, he gets tempted. He's wrestling with lust. It's bothering him. Then don't be out there. And um, and so because they clap back at him, as you see, they clap back at him hard. And uh, like I say, it didn't go well with him. And um, But I wanted to bring his wife into this now because she has some things to say and it's kind of interesting. Yes. What do you mean? Why are you judging? What do you mean? I'm not judging you. Yes, you are. No, I mean, I will. Oh my God. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Porn is in productive. I have children and I know you guys care about kids. I do. Can I'm you tell him to leave us alone? He just came up to us unprovoked. Please. Okay, he's going away. Okay. Yes. But I want you guys to think about the fact well. that what you guys are doing here does matter to kids. And I think you all have that. And I'm not judging you. I'm not judging you. I'm not judging you. I have nothing to say as far as this goes. But you have really do. In front of my kids is where I draw the line. Oh, you guys would agree. And I kept looking for them. it does matter what you guys wear. Not because, not because of even what he said, but because you need to value yourself. If you're valuing yourself, that's the important thing. Okay? Okay. Okay. That's what I'm saying. Thank you for your words. I think we can call this good now. Yes, we absolutely Great. can. Please stop talking. Well, Okay, um, so the wife here, um, if you look at her, um, okay, look at her, what she has on, um, and she's wearing a bikini, and let me just say this, as a man, that's lustful, that's enough to stare, to go, wow, look at her, so that's why I said before, if he's saying all of this, did God say, hey, shouldn't you be watching what you wear? Because that what she has on is enough to cause men to lust. This what makes this whole scenario crazy. It makes it crazy. And um, so, you know, and then she says to them that, about valuing themselves. So she's talking to people who, one, she doesn't know anything about, and she's telling them that 
and the kind of co-signing what he says that the wearing of their bikinis is not valuing themselves the problem again is in both cases him calling himself being a man of God he hasn't presented one thing of Christ to them that would change them all right I'm gonna let me skip up here and um, that right there I'm skipping through uh, that's their clapback and um, and they just I'm not gonna spend the time there but um, um, but let's hear since the video went viral so let's hear what he has to say and it's gonna be kind of interesting here all right um, by the way I, I think he ended up losing his job over this and and this probably before but uh, so the video has gone viral this is this clap back and I think since then he's lost his job but okay hey guys I'm Logan I just wanted to get on here and to share my side of the story um, of a video that's going viral about me uh, that's saying I'm harassing women or I'm berating them or you know things of that nature and so my side of the story is I was at um, a reservoir or a lake and I was with family members um, all you know different ages you know from my age to college age all the way down to a nine-year-old boy to a six-year-old boy four-year-old girl and a two-year-old girl and I had just you know come off the the water from paddle boarding and somebody in my family said hey we've got to move there's some college age women here that are showing too much um, and I don't want you know my son or, or my daughters to see these things and so right then and there I just had a uh, just a righteous anger come over me um, and also just a, a boldness by the Holy Spirit to go in to confront these ladies and to speak truth that, hey, what you're wearing is not okay for a nine-year-old boy or a six-year-old boy. Um, and reason being is because coming from being introduced to pornography at a young age, it destroyed me. And I, in that moment, just a righteous anger of to defend and protect um, young eyes came over me. And so I just started to speak truth that, hey, you know, what you're wearing is not okay, that you can't find your worth in your body, um, that the physical will never satisfy, you know, that, uh, that there's going to come a day where you're, you're going to be face to face with God, um, you know, things of that nature. And, and so just to clear everything up, I, I don't, I'm not going to apologize. I'm just going to say I'm going to continue to stand on the truth. I'm going to continue to stand on the word of God. Our society is on such a downcline of morality. Pornography and lust is at an all-time high. People, um, you know, don't even know their gender anymore. People don't even know. Um... Okay, I'm going to stop it right there. Um, only because, again, he's kind of kind of going off on a tangent, and, and I, he he said some of the stuff that he's saying on the beach. Problem with some of the stuff that he's saying here. Um, when he says that he had a righteous anger and a boldness of the spirit, stop saying that the spirit didn't tell you to do that. I don't believe that for one bit. Because again, uh, why wouldn't you? Why would you speak just only with them? See, I could understand it if he erected a, a kind of a table or whatever and got this, a, a microphone and speaker or a bullhorn and started preaching to everybody on the beach. Um, he's not even preaching to his own wife. That's causing lust. Okay. Um, and let me just say this, why are, are your children there? And if you think that your children are getting exposed to pornography and, and you want to kind of classify those women wearing those bikinis as pornography, well, wait, wait till you get a hold of an iPhone, wait till you get to school, okay? So you better be doing more than that to protect your children. You better be teaching them the word of God because you can't shield them from that, Okay. But again, I'm not even buying the fact that you were just doing that for the children's sake. Because to me, you were bothered by that. That you looked at those women and they ignited something in you, right? Uh, they enticed you. All men have that. If I was on that beach and saw those women, I would be like, oh man, wow. Turn your eyes, right? If I don't, could see my body wants to look. Um, and then of course, you just totally ignored the men, the half-naked men that were out there. So what is that about, right? Uh, you're not going to protect your wife from looking at the half-naked men? So again, a lot of this is just so, his message is off. 
And the biggest thing about his message is that not one time did he really produce what would really cause them to change, and that is a relationship with Jesus Christ. That's what he never said. And so therefore his message was never going to work. And that's and, and, and as a result of it, of course, as I said, the girls clap back at him. And, and, and again, you didn't reach them. So the fact that you think that you're doing God's work by simply attacking people in the way they dress or attacking people's lifestyle without giving them the gospel, dude, you're heading down a road that's going to cause you nothing but trouble, especially in this day and age. And as I often mentioned, I think he's already lost his job over that. I'm not saying that you, as Christians we can't stand for the truth, but that wasn't truth that she was doing. You got a hold of a bad ideology, bad teaching from bad teachers, and you acted out on it thinking that you was doing God's will. But in the end, no, God never, Jesus never told you to attack just one group of people while certainly ignoring the other. And I'm going to say this and then close out, especially your wife. All right, guys, look, that's my perspective. I would love to hear what you think. Don't forget to like and share this video and subscribe to BP, The Bible Perspective. And as always, if you ever thought a comment, add it to the comment section below. All comments are welcome. <laughs> Excuse me. Till next time, I'll see you then.